This week we're giving New Yorkers a once in a lifetime opportunity to visit the Carnegie Deli which closed uh, almost two years ago uh, after 80 years in business uh, to come down to Soho and visit our 1958 version of the Carnegie Deli pop-up and experience the Midge Maisel sandwich. Obviously the sandwiches uh, are Carnegie Deli sandwiches. Uh, this is Carnegie Deli pastrami. We collaborated with the team from Carnegie Deli in creating the Midge Maisel, uh, as well as the Susie, uh, which are the characters from the show. Um, so they'll definitely get that Carnegie Deli taste when they uh, bite into this uh, mouth-watering sandwich. Prime Video, um, really, and the marvelous Mrs. Maisel, were huge fans of the Carnegie Deli. Uh, the show takes place in New York, and they reached out to the Carnegie Deli because uh, there was so much synergy and nostalgia uh, between the two brands. So the most important thing for us with Carnegie was the food, yeah. right? We really wanted to make sure that when people ate the sandwiches, they were as good as the Carnegie Deli sandwiches. The original location was on 7th Avenue and 55th Street across from Carnegie Hall. So it got its, came, its namesake by being across from Carnegie Hall, Carnegie Deli. Table three. They'll see the Wall of Fame. They'll see the hanging salamis. They'll see, of course, the famous pastrami and cheesecake and black and white cookies. Uh, the sandwiches are gargantuan, as my grandpa calls him, called the sandwiches, gargantuan sandwiches. And uh, yeah, he created this whole thing of the huge sandwiches, and our good customers would get na uh, sandwiches named after them. And people considered it an honor and real indication that they were famous if they had a sandwich named after them and their uh, photo was on the wall. Uh, my mom and I don't currently have any plans to reopen, but we are open to opportunities and collaborations.